Hi, welcome to the Ask Patrick series. Today's question is by Anmol Saxena. Question is, I'm not able to apply the shorter methods which I've learned in practice during the mocks. Okay, now why are you not able to apply? Few reasons that is possible. One, the methods are faulty. So what happens, people learn methods which are applicable for only few of the sums. Okay, or specific type of sums. And those specific sums may not come into mock. So that means whatever you study becomes useless because you have studied for a specific type of sum, little modification of that sum, you may not be able to apply the method. So then it becomes useless and it doesn't help. Also what happens is when you learn stuff which is applicable only for a specific type of sums, you have to learn a lot of concepts, a lot of formulas. And that the whole, you know, whole idea of learning so much, you will be confused as to what to apply to which question. I mean, when you have too much of knowledge and too much of data in your mind, then application becomes difficult because you don't know which method to apply to which sum because you may have 10 methods for the same sum and that becomes confusing, right? So what is key is to understand methods that can be applicable to number of sum. That's more important. Also, one more reason and could be that you have not practiced those methods enough. You need to create a habit. Look, in the CAD, in a mock, you're under time pressure. So when you're under time pressure, you tend to do what you're habitually doing. If you don't have a habit, you will not be able to do it. Let's be very clear. Under time pressure, you tend to do what your habit, your unconscious, subconscious mind will tell you what to do. If you don't have a habit of doing it, it will be very difficult for do it. And to build that whole habit, you need to practice the same method in multiple sums. So only if you practice, keep practicing that same method in multiple sums, would you create that habit and that will help you resolve. Also important is whenever you practice, the first thing that you should apply is the shorter method. What people do is they first do the traditional method and then do the shorter method. That doesn't matter. First, try to take two minutes or three minutes and try to see if you can apply the shorter methods. That will help you to build on practice on the shorter methods. And that will then create a habit that can be used in the mocks or the actual exam. Hope that helps. Thank you.